Hey everybody, welcome to a uh, Tuesday uh, afternoon edition of uh, Keith's Beer Reviews. Um, today I'm going to do one I know almost nothing about. Uh, at least I knew nothing about when I picked it up. I did go to the website and figured out what it was. But from the Summit uh, Brewing Company out of... Uh, where the heck are they at? I can't even remember now. I think in Minnesota somewhere. Uh, from their Un Unchained series, uh, batch number 11, I'm going to do their old 152. I've tried a couple of them. I guess batch, this isn't all that old. I guess batch 12 is out now. Uh, this is one where they uh, they let the brewers just do whatever they want. Uh, and unlike uh, Coors and uh, Budweiser uh, brewers, they're actually allowed to be creative. So, um... This one, is, it's signed by the brewer. It says, Brewer Eric Harper has gone old school for Summit Unchained number 11, as in old 152. Inspired by the Kentucky common beer style that was popular before Prohibition, it actually uses a sour mash of maize and rye, in addition to tr traditional malts and cluster hops, just about the only hop available in the U.S. back then. The results are anything but sour, yielding a chestnut-colored brew, with a slightly spicy floral aroma, biscuit caramel notes, and crisp, clean bitterness. Comes in at 5.8% uh, ABV. Just going to use my generic uh, nonic glass today. Just a standard uh, summit cap. Bubbles that look like they're trying to come out of the out of the bottle, but they haven't yet. So let me get this poured and see what we have. I saw a four pack of it and when I was out of town uh, a month or so ago and didn't find a single bottle so picked up the four pack so hopefully it's good uh, since it is a rye based beer uh, and I do like uh, like rye based beers uh, sounds like it might be pretty interesting uh, definitely uh, definitely a twist that's for sure um, we got a Dark orange, almost orange brown, um, definitely, definitely brown tinge to it. Uh, seems to be a moderate amount of carbonation streaming up. Got a maybe a finger and a half of a really uh, creamy looking, uh, really cr like tight, tight uh, small bubbles. Creamy looking head. Uh, looks like it may stick around a little bit. So uh, let me uh, let me get a nose on it. Okay, yeah, those toasted malts come out uh, really big. Uh, definitely got that, uh, definitely got aroma of like a spicy rye bread. Uh, there's hints of caramel, toffee biscuit, little cracker note, a uh, little graininess, maybe from that maize. Um, I do in the back, I get a, a hint of some uh, grassy, earthy type hops. And maybe even a hint, just a slight hint of some citrus orange. But um, this is uh, very bready and uh, malt-driven beer, that's for sure. Um, but uh, the rye and uh, what little hops you get there uh, make for a nicely, uh, nicely balanced aroma, that's for sure. So let me give it a taste. Oh yeah, you get that rye spice right up front. Um, yeast, you're getting a little bit of that... Um, Almost that sour mash flavor, like a bourbon, maybe. Some woody notes, um, getting a little barley in it. Uh, it's a very, very spicy and, and earthy taste, though. Um, you get that uh, spicy rye bread right up front, and that um, lingers pretty much throughout the whole whole mouth. Um, got your toasted malt, some wheat grains, um, biscuity notes, caramel, toffee, again, very very uh, very malty malt forward um, there are some um, musty and sort of grassy hop notes in there that add a little bit of bitterness and maybe even just a light touch of uh, citrus and a little pine but they're very very light it's a really nicely uh, balanced uh, taste that's for sure um, Got some nice um, drying bready notes there on the finish. Um, 
surprisingly doesn't linger around very much um, seems to be a medium bodied beer I got a moderate level of carbonation it's um, really creamy and spicy and pretty smooth and with that uh, dry finish it's it's pretty nice so let me sit sip on this a while and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade okay I'm back it's been uh, 20 minutes or so as you can see there's not much left uh, I'm really enjoying this beer uh, got the highway close to here so you're probably hearing some traffic noise in the background but and the plane going over too but uh, it's a uh, I'm really impressed uh, if, the, if they were drinking this before uh, before prohibition uh, there were some good brews back there if it was anything near to what this tastes like uh, this is a really nice um, it's a solid beer. It's a really interesting take on a on a on a uh, malt and rye driven beer. That's for sure. Um, it's got a really good balance between the malts and the hops. Uh, definitely malt forward, but uh, there are some hops in there, and uh, um, I don't know what they what they said the cluster hops. I'm sure you uh, homebrewers know what they are. But uh, anyway, this is a darn good beer. Uh, I'm really, like I said, I'm really liking it a lot. I'm gonna give the, and I guess batch number 12 is, is out now. I'm not even sure what it is, but uh, hopefully I'll make a out of town trip uh, sometime later this week and be able to pick some up. But uh, the batch number 11 in the uh, Summit Unchained series, the old 152, it's going to get a good solid uh, 8.5 out of 10 from me. Darn good beer. Um, if you see it, if it's still on the shelves and you get Summit beers, um, definitely worth picking up, at least in my opinion. So 8.5 out of 10. So till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.